kesem ha are a fintole a a semenan an un telafo. <laughs> Listen, behind me, there's a flock of turkeys. Today, I want to talk about what's the difference between the words coming out of my mouth and the sounds coming out of theirs. Kasera mu aser esem antolor aser semenar semen intelafur akera unten enan esamar. Today, we're going to talk about why language sounds like language. Repeat after me. Can you do it? Now, actually. Repeat after me. Halam etem hamusaret. That one's a little easier, yeah? There are two things that separate language from gibberish. One is digitization, and the second is redundancy. Digitization is done by the use of phonemes. You can basically think of phonemes as syllables, and they're really important because they allow language to be discretized. What that means is that you can separate one sound from another and break your idea up into individual chunks. Look at the sun here. <laughs> What those chunks do is they allow your sounds to be very easily replicated. When I say something like hasuiyu, it's very difficult to know where it begins and where it ends and, and all of the different individual details in the sound, and so it would be very, very difficult for anybody else to say it. But when I say haserim, your mind automatically does this sort of breakdown. It breaks it down into ha and se and rim. And it doesn't matter that you don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. It's still familiar sounds. You've made those sounds ha and se and rim in other words. And so you can do it again here. Basically, phonemes put everybody making and listening to a language on equal playing field because they all know the terms that they're going to be engaging in. Those chunks allow for the second important feature of language, which is redundancy. I can say something like Asema atelemo haserim akeladur asema en en aselo anem asema somerla. One of the key indicators here that I'm conveying some kind of important information is that I'm repeating myself. This redundancy makes it easier to communicate because you can guess what I'm about to say next. That means that if you happen to miss one of the words that I say, you can still pretty much figure out what I'm saying. Redundancy is only made possible by breaking up language into these teeny chunks that can be repeated in infinite combinations. It's this combination of digitized phonemes that can be redundantly but still uniquely combined that allows meaning to be conveyed. And that is why what I'm saying sounds like this and not like <laughs> Thanks for watching and remember Kasamen asemern akelo intambem Turkey footprints, turkey footprints, an abandoned turkey feather. God, they're so pretty.